All right, I think I'll go through the uh, tourist area for a bit and hopefully avoid uh, getting my pocket picked. <clears throat> As you can see, the place is crawling with people. This is uh, the week before Thanksgiving, 2012, and uh, it's cold out. I can just imagine what it's like in the summer here. I'm coming into the uh, main Old Town Square, and the reason that this is worth doing is because you can uh, you can see the clock. Uh, this is also where Kafka lived, right around here. Nice dog. I think this square is over here, but I might be wrong. Nice doggy. That's a beautiful dog. How old is your dog? Yeah? The dog likes this weather. Now, th this black light theater stuff, apparently it doesn't actually have ultraviolet light. It's, uh, the actors are dressed in black, and the stage is black. I don't know much about it, but there's some optical illusion that you can get. So, oh yeah, I, okay now we're coming into the main square Now, what I didn't know about Kafka was that uh, he, against his desire, uh, his father compelled him to go to uh, the faculty of law, which he did not. Uh, but he practiced uh, not as a lawyer, but he was an insurance examiner. So, in the sense that he was like. Uh, uh, What's his name? Wallace Stevens, the American poet, who had a uh, successful day job as a uh, high-level executive and was a great writer by night. Uh, I didn't know that about Kafka, that he was for 13 or 14 years a very highly regarded insurance examiner, which changes my entire view of him completely, although it should be. Um, but I believe he lived in this house right here, right next to the clock. He certainly lived right in this area, in one of these houses. Um, and there's a plaque. 
The clock itself is fascinating. This is uh, so-called Old Town Square. I would guess uh, you've got Just an average day, I'd say there was probably 10 or 12,000 people. It's not, not crowded. Well, here are the tourists, of course, but I think people from Prague also just come here. Now this, I'm going to go and try and take a uh, close-up picture of this. Believe it or not, that giant church is not a cathedral, it's just a church. This is a cathedral. Here's the uh, clock. Uh, I will take a still of this. Apparently one of the uh, characters on this Diorama is a Jewish money lender. Here's the statue of Jan Hus, who was uh, a pre Luther Reformation character, predated Martin Luther by a hundred years, uh, burned at the stake for uh, heresy. Here, I believe, right at this very spot. Here we have your typical Now, in the olden days, um, where those modern buildings are over there, modern being 1890s, was the old wall Jewish ghetto that was torn down in the 1890s. Uh, not apparently according to my guidance, but because it was unsanitary. By that point, uh, it was only 25% Jewish. I, I don't know where uh, Kafka lived. It was right adjacent to this, and I'm going to try and take some pictures before I run out of the battery. But here we go. Old Town Square, Prague.